going to select a few cars today. Let's uh, check it out. So why I'm saying buying from a dealer is good because they have a variety of cars and you can see how many cars are here. Um, the basic model or? Uh, no, this is the top of the range. The top model. Yep. So that's 2018, right? Correct. I'm just looking for myself. I have a... A Toyota Camry of my own. Okay. So basically, I just want to see if it was in the market. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Something a little bit more sportier yeah. for the one person. Yeah. Yep. Toyota 86 is uh, is an affordable yeah. sports car as well. Uh, yeah. Rear wheel drive, two liter, naturally aspirated yeah. engine. Yeah. So it's got a lot of power. Yeah. And it's got excellent handling. So this vehicle here was designed more for the handling mm -hmm. than for the straight line speed. So it's very much a track car. Yeah. And I say that as you're going around turns and bends and stuff like that. This Oh, it just holds the road. What is the trade-in like if I want to basically trade in my camera? Oh, look, it'll definitely depend on the condition of the car, kilometers, service history, uh, you know. Car buyers believe they can get a better deal at a private car sale than through a dealer. But I hope my video will change your perception. However, there is more to consider than just the sticker price. If you're not extremely knowledgeable about cars, dealer might be a better option if you're looking to buy a car. Then check this video out. It is just for you. Watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon too for my upcoming videos. I have compiled a list of the best websites to buy a second hand car in Australia. Having a look at our classifies online can save you time and most importantly can get you a better deal. So these are the websites to visit. Carsales.com.au, Car City, Gumtree, Drive, Trading Post, BMW Used Cars, Red Book Cars Guide and Auto Line. Tips for buying used cars, let's face it, buying a car is a stressful situation. For most of us, it will be the second largest financial transaction we ever make. There are plenty of pitfalls for the unwary or inexperience. And when it comes to buying a car, most of us are both. Buying through a dealer removes a lot of pressure because it's something they do on a daily basis. The dealer knows how to handle the nitty gritty of a car sale and understands how to handle the paperwork. When you buy a car from a private seller, you and the seller have to handle all the details yourselves. Haggling for the best price. One of the strongest arguments for buying a car from a private seller is that you, the buyer, have the upper hand and can haggle more strongly for the best possible price. If the seller has an urgent need to sell, your position is even stronger. On the other hand, haggling with a dealer is more difficult. Buy a car used to mean tracking all the way to a dealership and talking to a car salesperson, possibly one with a disturbing moustache. Dealers know the best value of what they are selling and they deal with car buyers every day so they know every trick in the book to achieve the best possible price. The dealer makes it easier, okay the dealer will handle all the paperwork including the transfer of the title and registration. An important factor to consider is that a dealer will offer a warranty. However, be aware that there are compulsory warranties, extended warranties at additional cost and cooling off periods and some of these now apply to private sales as well. Warranties. When you buy it through a licensed car dealer, the car will be covered by a statutory warranty which guarantees that certain defects found after the purchase will be repaired free of charge within the warranty period. Dealerships may be able to offer additional warranties which could be uh, comforting if you're buying a used car reputable dealers will have thoroughly inspected used cars they offer for sale and if necessary carry out the repairs but do not rely on this carry out your inspection and if you are not skilled call an expert motoring association in all states can conduct inspections of any car you are considering to buy and if it saves you buying a potential lemon or even worse a potential death trap it's um, money well spent buying a used car the same make as the dealer sells new can also add peace of mind some new cars dealers carry out official inspections and even offer higher warranty protection on approved used cars 
Most dealers will accept the trade-in as part payment towards the purchase of the car, but generally speaking, will offer less than you might achieve by selling it privately. It comes at cost. Dealers have to cover their margins and ensure they make a profit. So buying through a dealer is almost always more expensive than buying privately. Some car sales people may be pushy, don't accept this sort of behavior. And if you encounter it, speak to the sales manager or go to another dealership will be better option. Keep in mind though that most sales staff are working on commission so they may seem a little bit overzealous to make a sale. The best and most uh, successful salespeople are trained to find out what your real needs are and help you make a decision that is in your best interest. Buying a car privately, most private sellers have an inflated opinion of the value of the car they are selling. Gain from scanning ads from similar cars, asking um, price rather than the final selling price. So keep in mind you have plenty of room to negotiate and you can always walk away while the initial purchase price. Maybe better on a used car than you could negotiate with a dealer for a similar car. You don't have the same protection. Sellers aren't obliged to disclose potential problems even if they are aware of them. Private sales aren't covered by any warranties and if problems arise, they will be your responsibility to repair. With private sales, an independent inspection is even more important than if you're buying through a dealer. Few, if any, private sellers will accept a trade-in. So if you want your car to be sold, the current one, you will have to sell it privately. And as mentioned earlier, completing the paperwork, transferring title and registration and paying the various fees will be up to you. Private sales, prepare for the inspection. The car may look great from exterior, but what's happening under the bonnet? Some of the most critical and expensive to repair parts are not clearly visible unless you know what he is to look for. A private seller is not necessarily going to disclose or even be aware of all potential issues with the car. Don't know where the drive belt is or what an oil leak might look like. Bring along someone who does when to go on inspection. Make sure you take notes about the repairs you think the car will need. Let the seller know that you are going to check the prices on these new parts and repairs as that might help you in negotiating a lower price. Safety and roadworthiness. Depending on your state and territory, cars older than 5 years need to be issued with, a, with what it is called as either safety or roadworthy certificate. The certificate indicates that the car has passed a minimum safety standard inspection that includes the operation of tires, steering brakes suspension lights windscreens etc it is not however a full mechanical inspection if you are buying from a private seller make sure you discuss service history of the car and ask to see the logbook and roadworthy certificate if possible have a mechanic to check it out if you decide to buy privately arrange for a mechanic to inspect the car and provide you with a written corner report conduct a test drive at various speeds and be realistic about how the suitable the car is and its condition in relation to similar cars on the market. Ask to see a certificate of roadworthiness and if possible a service history check with the appropriate body in your state to ensure that there is no money still owed on the car and that is it hasn't been written off. And also get a detailed retail, return receipt that includes full sellers details, selling, pricing, and the vehicle identification number so guys to conclude today's topic i would like to say buying a car from a dealer is the way to go and for many it is so guys hope you like the video please comment with your opinion and do not forget to subscribe to my channel below stay safe